Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Niagara chocolates. These are all milk chocolate bars. I have the milk chocolate bar, peanut butter, caramel. Um, almond toffee and mint cookie crunch. We have uh, tried Niagara, Niagara chocolates before. They're on the channel. Uh, they were uh, like bags of chocolate that we found at like Five Below, places like that. They're becoming a lot more popular around here. This is a brand that you never heard of around here before, even though I think they've been in business, well, right here, since 1956. And uh, we're just now seeing more and more of them in our area. However, we hadn't seen these bars. These bars were bought while we were on vacation in Hawaii. They were bought at Don Quixote for $2.49 each, which is kind of expensive, but you're buying them on an island. So, uh, you're paying vacation prices. Yeah, you're paying vacation prices. Don Quixote, you know, some things are more reasonable than others. Uh, this is the uh, milk chocolate. Um, they, uh, it's NiagaraChocolates.com and it is 220 calories. Okay. Oh, it's a nice smooth looking bar. Look, oh look, I like that it has little bitty pieces like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it makes it nice. You can just break them off. Yeah. Yeah, little squares so that it lasts longer. Buffalo, New York. I was thinking New York. I hadn't, that they were made in New York in my mind, but I couldn't remember where. It's Buffalo, New York is where they're from. It's a nice flavor. It's a light flavor, but it's nice. It, um, it's, it's creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has that, that typical milk chocolate, the waxy kind of feel. It does. It's creamy and sweet, but it does have a waxy feel. And Not in a bad way. That's just no. the best texture I can explain it as. It, um, it is a good chocolate. It, it do, it's not as rich mm -hmm. as other chocolates. Yeah. Let's say like a Lent Lindor chocolate. However, I do like the flavor of it. Yeah, it's good. It's a little light for me. That's the biggest thing. It's just a, it's not a really bold milk chocolate. It's kind of a lighter chocolate. Right. This is the peanut butter and it is 220 calories. Mm. I'm assuming it's filled. I'm sure, yeah, because they're all the milk chocolate on the outside. Go ahead, you can break it if you want. So I'm assuming, yes, that, that each there's one of these bigger. is gonna be. Oh, okay, this this is different. Yes, it is filled with peanut butter. Mm-hmm, decent enough too. You made the chocolate thicker. I like that much more than the first one. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter has a saltiness to it. Mm -hmm. They all salty. But it's also very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. Um, it tastes more like a uh, like a Peter Pan or a Skippy peanut See, butter. It's like you. an organic peanut butter, like a. See, it doesn't taste like Jif to me. It tastes more like a it's Peter. It's not sweet. Yeah. I like it. I, I think it's. I like it too. I think it's plenty sweet enough yep. for me. Oh, yeah. Which one do you like better? That one. The because the, the regular chocolate one really had a light flavor to me. Mm -hmm. That one has a lot more flavor. Yeah, and it is just the addition of that peanut butter makes it uh, seem thicker. Mm -hmm. This oh, yeah, is much, much thicker. the caramel, and this one is only 190 calories. And once again, you're getting uh, filled, filled pieces. Same thing. Now, I may have to... Uh, just yeah, that's fine because if it's runny caramel, then we won't be able to share it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'd rather have the whole thing anyway. I'll tell you what, if you actually break these and don't just bite it, it's going to last you a while. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the caramel? It's okay. It's almost like a vanilla caramel. I agree. 
I agree completely. Like a cream, you know the caramel with the white cream in the middle? Mm-hmm. Kind of reminds me of that flavor. Yeah, it is, um, it's definitely not, or it doesn't come across as just a pure caramel. Like a rich buttery caramel. No, I definitely think they added vanilla to mm -hmm. it. I not don't, bad. I don't mind it, but I would have preferred regular caramel mm -hmm. with the milk chocolate. Yeah, um, just know that it's not a pure caramel. Yeah. Uh, I would hate for anybody to get it and, and be like, oh, this has a vanilla flavor. Yeah, it doesn't have that really sweet, like uh, salty caramel kind of flavor. It doesn't have that kind of flavor. It's just a, it's a vanilla caramel. Now this one is 210 calories and it is the almond toffee. I'm assuming this is going to be a solid It feels one. chunky. Yeah, this is a solid one. Yeah, I felt little chunks though in the back of it. Oh, uh, a few. Yeah, you can see a few here and there. So almond toffee, I love toffee. Get the crunchy almond pieces. Mm hmm. Hmm. I got a little sugary um, toffee piece, but mm -hmm. just one little bitty one. I do too. That's ninety percent almond. Mm hmm. But you taste the almond. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And you do taste the toffee. It is absolutely, it's very, very different than the first one. Mm. I think the, um, the uh, it's amazing how much the almond flavor comes through, but that toffee adds a lot of sweetness. Yeah, the almond is stronger than I'm used to. Mm, it's a, it's like, surprising. I think it's because the chocolate is so light flavored mm -hmm. that it tastes like I'm eating raw almonds. Like a yes, handful of just almonds. it really does. The almond, because like when you eat um, other candy bars with almonds, you taste them, but not like really strong. Yeah. That's really strong. Yeah, well, like I said, most of the time though, when you're eating it, you really get the chocolate almond kind of combo. Mm -hmm. This, the chocolate's so light that you really get the almond flavor. I don't really get a lot of toffee flavor. Maybe a little bit here and there, but. It added a little bit of sweetness when you got one of those little pieces. Yeah, and you felt the little sugary crunch. Yeah. That's about it. This is, has this is in it. well, it's meant cookie crunch. Ah, the little cookie pieces. Uh-huh. Right? Little cookie pieces. And it is 210 calories for the bar. Let me get all this in. Mint cookie crunch. So I get those pieces that, there you go. Ew, I got four pieces. four pieces of cookie. I tasted the mint before I even touched my tongue. <laughs> I, I tasted it with my nose. Hmm. It's a nice white mint. Mm -hmm. It's. I think it smells stronger than mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. It's very light. That one. Um, Although it gets all up in your sinuses. It does. The cookie. Um, I do like the addition of the cookie. Mm -hmm, a little crunch. Uh, after I've had it, and once it's settled, I really don't care for that mint. It's kind of toothpastey, isn't it? Yes. You don't get that at first. At first, it comes across as it's not too bad but mm -hmm. then like kevin said you swallow it and it gets all up in your nasal passages and it does remind you of toothpaste yeah. at first i thought it was like junior mint kind of flavor and it's not but it no. doesn't end that way it just starts mm -hmm. that way initially and then it kind of develops into this toothpastey mm -hmm. kind of flavor i really do like the texture of it though yeah. and with the cookie, all the cookies the cookie bites are really nice mm -hmm. I, I think if you really like that toothpastey kind of mint flavor which some people do um Go for it. It's good. Yeah, for me, I would rather have Junior Mounds. Out of all of them, that's probably my least favorite one. Uh, that is definitely my least favorite yeah. one. It's the Mount. But yeah. surprisingly, my next least favorite one is the Caramel one. Yeah, uh, mine too, because... It's uh, too vanilla. Well, no, no, no. As far as least favorite, we usually don't go in this order. I know. I'm just thinking the two I the don't mint, really like. It, the Mint, I would not buy again, and I wouldn't buy the Almond Toffee again. That was going to be my third, so... I wouldn't yeah. buy the Almond Toffee again but just you're right. because it is... Well, no, I mean... No, no, no. You're right, because that was just like... I would might as well have just eaten a handful of almonds. Of almonds. Because, That's all you're tasting yeah, is almonds. You're right. the chocolate. Uh, my number one would 100% be the peanut butter. Yes. Yeah. And peanut I, butter. That's why I didn't do number one first. And then I, they would be... What, regular then caramel? Is that how you would do it? Or would yeah. you do caramel? No, then? I'd probably do regular and then caramel. Yeah, yeah. so peanut butter, regular caramel, uh, almond, and then mint. Mint, yeah. Basically, almost is the order we try to mint. <laughs> but, uh, to be completely honest, you're talking about a milk chocolate peanut butter bar. Would I ever choose that over a Reese's cup, no. which is milk chocolate and peanut butter 
No, I would cheaper. not. I would not. Yeah, yeah. Reese's Cup is a lot cheaper, even in Hawaii, uh, than it is um, than uh, this. It's yeah. it's much cheaper. So it is good, but I don't know that I would go out of my way to try them if you've never tried them. Yeah, before. the chocolate's not like. I mean, you're paying when you're paying two something a piece for them. You're expecting a very rich experience. You're and right. These aren't quite to that level of chocolate. No, I don't think they should be charging that much for no. that. And that could have, like we said, that could have been Hawaii vacation prices too. Right. They might only be a dollar well, at the regular store. If you get them in your area, you'll have to let us know yeah. how much they cost. I I bet they're more expensive than like a Reese's Probably. cup. Probably. They, they shouldn't be more than a dollar. I don't think they should either. If like, they're charging more realistic prices, then I would consider getting them again but at these prices i no. would never they should be them. hershey bar prices definitely hershey yeah. bar prices yes so i hope you enjoyed the video i will have a picture of each one of these for you at the end with the nutritional information ingredients all that stuff and thanks for watching